Hey guys, this is Dave the Software Dev again, and today we're going to be talking about tables inside of Bootstrap. I'm just going to dive right in here. I've got in this HTML file a very simple table. It's got a header with a couple of columns. Uh, I've got a table body with uh, looks like four records here with some data in them, and I've got a footer with a couple of elements in it as well. So if we actually uh, look at that table uh, in the web browser, it's, it's fairly uh, simple. So this is the file in the web browser and the table is really compressed. It just doesn't look very good. Um, one thing that I would have done in the past would be to add a couple of attributes to this table. I would add a border. I would add a cell spacing and a cell padding. And I would maybe put a style on it to, and I may do it in my CSS file as well, but I would put a border collapse on my table of collapse to make that uh, that actual border a little bit uh, thinner. So if we look at what the table looks like now, you know, that's better. Uh, that's how I would have done things in the past. But now we've got Bootstrap, which gives us a lot of very neat styles we can apply to this table. So I'm going to get rid of all of this. And all we need in here are our Bootstrap uh, CSS file. There's no JavaScript or anything uh, required for this. So I'm going to add a couple of classes to this table. Let's just start with uh, the class of table. Let's save that. So our table is converted to be 100% of its parent's width, um, and it's spaced out everything, and it's added a little border um, between our records, which that's nice. Uh, another thing that you can do is set up a striping on the table by adding the table-striped class. I'll refresh that. So you may not be able to make it out right now, but there is a light gray stripe on this first uh, item and a light gray stripe on this third item. The footer is, is not stri striped. It only stripes what's in the, the table body. Uh, one other thing that, uh, that you can do is you can add a table bordered uh, style. Let's save that. Refresh. That adds a border uh, around your entire table and you can tell that it appeared here on the bottom line. Uh, so one thing I like to do and I have done with JavaScript in the past is to add a hover when the mouse is over a row in my table. But now we have styles that can do it using the table hover. Just save that, refresh it, and now I get a little hover effect whenever I move my uh, my mouse over the table. So sometimes I don't want my table to uh, take up the full width of its parent. So in my CSS file, and I'm just going to drop it in a style here, I'm going to add a table collapsed uh, style where I set the width to auto. I'm just going to save that and I'm going to add that table collapse to my table. Let's refresh so that table no longer fills up 100%. It's going to expand based upon the data that's inside of the table. Uh, another thing I often like to do, sometimes this, this built-in striping is a little too uh, light so what you can do is just take a look at the uh, the CSS that comes across. I'm going to grab this table striped here. I'm going to put that in our CSS file and just override what Bootstrap has. Now you might want to do I'll just uh, see I'll just make it something really dark, 999, for instance. Close this. Refresh. So now my table stripes are super dark. So, you know, that just goes to show you what Bootstrap has available for classes for tables. Uh, all I had to do was add a few classes and, and override one or two of them to my, uh, to my table, and I've got a very nice looking table there. So I hope this video helped you out. Uh, if it did, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel.